Okay, um, this one will be about string operations. <clears throat> Sorry for that. So we have a lot of string operations actually. So this tutorial I believe is going to take some time. Um, I warn you if you don't have time to watch it. So let's start with something simple. Input. What does input do? Oh, I hate this guy. Sorry. So what does input do? It's asks user to enter something and we define it like this input and you say enter enter a number let's say num because I don't have much space and you want it to be a string so you type s and close parentheses so when you type this on MATLAB it's going to prompt the user to enter something and whenever it enters something it's going to be um, saved as ands because I haven't assigned it to anything let's say I entered um, b a b bap so the ands are going to be equal to bap so that's the beginning alright we also have something called sprintf printf. Um, we're going to talk about something called fprintf which is almost well actually exactly the same thing but there are, there's a one important difference between two of those. The first one is well the only one is this thing prints to the screen right? Prints to screen. What about this guy? Well this guy creates creates a string so let's say you are you're asking a user to enter something and you assign the uh, assign the input to a variable so you can use that variable by using s printf and generate the string by that so that's one way to do that all right we're not going to get into the detail of any of these stuff we are mostly talking about the other functions because we have a lot of functions as it turns out. So the first one is stircat. What does it do? Well, let me let me expand it a little bit. So stir, whenever you see that, that means string, right? What about cat? It means not a, not a cat that we know of. Let me draw a cat. Meow. Well, it sort of looks horrendous to be honest with you. So let me just draw it so that I wouldn't offend anybody. So this is concatenation, all right? Concatenation. Oh my God, what a word, concatenation. So it concatenates two different strings, maybe more, uh, by using this function. So you, let's say I have a function called, uh, um, well, you know what? Let's go to the MATLAB command window and do it there. So my first variable is called first and it's equal to my dad and my last variable is called last and it's your dad well you're gonna concatenate your dad and my dad first and last ah what is wrong ah what am I doing I forgot the function all right so my dad, your dad, as you can see here. But what if I have done something like this? Like inside first, last, inside square brackets. The same thing would happen, but there's actually a difference between stir cat and the square bracket insertion. Well, in this case, in stir cat's case, the, this function removes a trailing blank. So what is a trailing blank? So look at me, look at uh, an iPad screen. Here. So let's say this is my string, my dad. All right. So there is like space here, space here, huge space. Right, this is also space. Um, let me change the color so that you can see it better. This thing is called trailing. Trailing blanks. Okay. But this thing is something totally different. This thing at the beginning is called leading blanks. 
when you're inserting, uh, when you're concatenating, let's say, two different strings with square brackets, nothing really happens. But what if, what if you are using something different? You're using our new function called strcat. What happens in that case? Well, strcat removes 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 what what do you think it's going to remove it's going to remove trailing blanks so let me try that here first is equal to my dad and lots of space here and last is equal to your dad so you see I well actually I'm not I'm not going to create any um, leading space here so let's concatenate them star cat uh, first and last let's see what we have see no trailing links they're all gone that's what I was talking about so the way it concatenates is magical all right magical but we want something more than just that right Stircat concatenates strings horizontally. Horizontally. Well, we don't want horizontally. What if we don't want horizontally? Let's say we want vertically, right? Word. Well, in that case, we need to use a different function. Well, this is a function that we are pretty familiar with. It's called char. What? But char is like converting integers to characters right now this time it's different how do we do that let's say char first and last it's going to create a vector well, it's an array a column or, or a column vector and at first here and last here so i'm going to do that on the screen first is equal to well, i'm not even going to do that if char the first one is high, and the second one is, hey, I don't know what it's doing. Look at that, high and hey, it's a column vector, it added it horizontally. Fantastic. Okay, let's go on to our other functions. The first one is upper, and the second one is lower. They are pretty neat functions. What what they do is is this. Upper converts every single lowercase letter into an uppercase. And the lower does exactly the opposite. So let me do that. Upper, this is my crazy function, char one, two, three, x o x. Right. Oh, I forgot to put a single quote here. So you see everything is uppercase. So let's try lower. That's x o x o x o x o x s a b. It's eight o'clock. Thank you. You see, it's all lowercase. So it was a neat function, but it's it's really simple. Anybody could use it. Okay, what about the other functions? Well, we have stir comp. What does that mean? Wait a second. Well, we know what this means. String. But what about the other one? This thing, this guy uh, is comparator or comparison, right? Comparison. Okay. I need a better stylus. This one sucks. Okay, so we know we can guess what it does, right? Stir comp compares two different functions. Oh, well, sorry, two different strings and let us know if they're equal or not. So let's say one of the strings is high, the other one is hey. Well, they mean the same, but when you put them inside of a store comp function like this, high and hey, well, the store comp is going to give us the result zero, big zero, because they're not equal. So we try something like that. Store comp, store comp high and start comp well high again right 
We want to see the good result. Answer one. That's what we want, right? But we can use stir comp in a different way too. What about I only want to compare first, let's say two two strings, two characters. We're gonna use a function called stir n comp. Stir n comp. And we have one more input argument. Let's say x, y, these are our strings, and we have also n. N is the first how many like how many first characters that we want to compare. So let's say x is equal to hi John and y is hi Jane. If we compare them and if we say n is equal to 2, the result is going to bond. If n is equal to let's say 4, the result is going to be 0. So let's try it on command window. Stir n comp and our first one is hi John. The second one is uh, okay, thank you, but no thanks. Hi, Jane, and two. Let's try that. Just like we expect, what we expect. It's still right because it's still J. Wow, didn't expect that coming. Did you see that coming? Okay, five, five. It's working. It's working very well, just like we thought. All right, let's go on to a different function. This time, stir find. Well, they don't end at all. Stir find. So I think you can guess what it does. It finds a letter inside of a string. Let's say our string is hi, John. And we are trying to find the letter J, let's say. So we'll write it like this, stir find and this is our string written here I'm not going to write the whole thing and we're trying to find the word H like this and where is it one two three four five six the result is going to be six but what if I try something crazy like um, uh, well, no Algeria all right, Algeria. We have no. Actually, it doesn't work. But if I write it like this, Algeria with two lowercase a's. Now we have two different a's, and we are trying to find a. So what is it going to give us? Well, let's try to find out. Let's find out, right? S T R find Algeria, and we're trying to find a. One and seven. There are locations. One is here, seven is here. Great. You can try that with a lot of different uh, different country names or whatever you like to try that with. But we're going on to we're moving on to the other function, which is called stir rep. Okay, this is not a representative of anything. This is replace. So let's say this is hi John our string. Uh, imagine this, we have already written the function name in the beginning. Here we write the, the letter that we are going to replace. I'm going to write old and this is the letter that we are going to replace it with new. So let's try it with on the command window. So stir rep, sorry stir rep uh, hi, John. Welcome home. Okay, so we want to change all the E's to star. Star X, star. Wow. Interesting. Actually, you can do that and you can create your own, um, like, encryption encryption code like visionaire or Caesar I don't know whatever you call it but it will be a really good one all right so stir up is done or you can also use it to change the blank spaces or I don't know dash with blank spaces let's say there are a lot of dash inside of your um, string so you can change it with blanks and we also okay we're coming to the end we have something called str tuck. Well, 
I guess this is called token. What it does is that it separates a string into two different strings. So let's say we have hi John. What it does is that it creates two strings whenever it sees a blank space like this. So we have hi and we have John. Okay, let's try this on the command window. Yes. So we need to create two different variables so that we could see the result. First and rest is equal to str tuck. And what it was was that hi John. Right, John. So let's see. See, hi, John. But you might say, hey, hey, man, I just don't want to use black space as my delimiter. That's what it's called, I guess. Um, I want to use O as the limit word, limit letter that I want to separate to separate this thing into two strings. I would say, yeah, okay, let's do that. CLC to close up. All right, so first, let me type it out. First rest is equal to um, start tuck. And hi, John. And we want to use O as our delimiter. See, hi, J, on. Well, it worked out the way I, we wanted. But I would say that you stick with stick with that white space and everything will be fine. Okay, that sums up our tutorial. Uh, I'll see you on the next tutorial. This one was pretty long. Thank you for staying with me. Seventeen minutes. God damn it! This is a, this is definitely a class.